Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? Blu-ray legend here. Uh, I started saying that before the video was ready to start. Anyway, we picked up two new movies today. Um, we paid, oh my god, uh, pretty expensive. Uh, we shop at Kroger for our food now and uh, didn't want to go to Walmart. Uh, we, well, first off, I'll show you. Uh, we picked up Pitch Perfect 3. I picked this up for my wife. She loves the Pitch Perfects. Um, so we picked this up. We paid uh, twenty-five on dollar for it at Kroger. Um, I heard some good things about it. Uh, I like the cast that's in it. I uh, really enjoy these movies too. Um, so we're gonna open this up. I really enjoy these movies. Uh, we've completed another. Uh, movie collection today also um i redid my movies today my tv shows uh justified breaking bad south park seasons one through five uh mike judges beavis and butthead the complete collection the boondocks death note sons of anarchy complete collection king of the hills seasons one through four game of thrones season six and a seventh season uh and uh, 300 to my H's are over here now. The rest are on this shelf right there. And then over there. And then my DVDs are over here. Uh, anyway, open this up. Comes with digital copy. Uh, I keep all those. Uh, for my digital copy collection, I got a pretty good. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the DVD. This is the Blu-ray. I really can't wait to watch this. I'm really excited. Uh, I didn't really hear much about it. I didn't even know they was going to make a third one. I knew it was going to come out when uh, uh, Jumanji did. Um, next, we picked up for $22.99. It was $23 odd dollars. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, and uh, I can't see the name, her name, uh, but Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Really excited about this. My dad and mom went and had a uh, dinner together at Applebee's and First, they went and seen Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, they told me it was very fun. Uh, I really can't wait to check it out. I'm a huge fan of the 1995 Jumanji with Robin Williams. So I'm really excited to check this out. Let's open this up real quick. You let me know if you guys have picked these movies up yet and what you guys think about them. Uh, <coughs> Unfortunately, it's only the Blu-ray, not the DVD, so I'll end up going uh, to uh, Walmart and probably picking up the DVD uh, because I like to have the good combo. I it came with the digital copy, but uh, the DVD is playing Jane. I'd really love to have the steel book to this. this. It would be pretty cool. Anyway, I'm really excited to check this out. Uh, we're going to have a nice family day today and watch these movies. Um, this is, wow, this is a really short video than what I'm usually doing. So anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, do my, start my complete collection today. Um, I'll do uh, A through H on this shelf right here in front of me. Um, first up, uh, I'll go ahead and do my TV shows. Uh, but first, uh, I'll show you guys a couple books I've been reading. Um, Twilight Director's Notebook, been reading that. Um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and my wife bought me, my niece actually bought me this book. Um, it's called Star Wars, The Weapon of a Jedi, a Luke Skywalker adventure. I've been, uh, I tried starting this the other day, but my son won't let me read it, so I'm going to pick this up where I left off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the movies I have in this cases. These are the movies that have been given to me by friends without cases, because um, I don't know why. Uh, first up, we have Paul in the first screen. Uh, next up on Blu-ray, we have uh, the original Beauty and the Beast. Really enjoy that. Next, uh, my nieces uh, gave me this, uh, so they would have something to watch over here, and that's uh, Disney's Pirate Fairy. 
Next up, we have Underworld, Rise of the Lycans, Underworld, Awakening, and the first pick, Perfect. Next, we have Lady and the Tramp, Blu-ray. Pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. Next, we have one of my favorite Disney movies, uh, Peter Pan Diamond Edition. Really enjoy that. The Jungle Book Diamond Edition. And I want to say this is Blue Skies, but I'm not quite sure. Robots uh, with Robin Williams. Uh, this is a good movie for kids. And then I got uh, Vin Diesel, Babylon AD. Suburban Girl. These are not in any order at all. Uh, next on Blu-ray, we have Pirates of Air Pirates in the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. I have not seen this one. I love the new one. Next, we have one of my favorite movies of uh, 2004. You Got Served. I like this better than uh, Stomp the Yard. Next, we got Survival of the Dead. I just dropped that movie. Survival of the Dead. Nine Dead. This is a really good movie. If you have not seen this, this is kind of like the Saul movies. They are all trapped in one. It's all one. It's a one location film. I really enjoy one location films. Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, they're all there for a reason, and uh, it's really good. I'll have to check this out, and I'll do a movie review on this. Um, it's really fun. It came out in 2010. Uh, next, we have The Mummy Ultimate Edition, uh, disc one. My other discs were stolen from me, and this is the only one I got. They took the case and everything. Uh, some of these, the cases are broken, and I just put them in here. Unstoppable, I really enjoyed that. Uh, another copy of Two Guns. Really enjoy this movie with Mark Wahlberg and Denzel Washington. Uh, Drunko, Dunkero, however you say that, has Ron Perlman. Uh, I want to say that's Colin Farrell, Woody Harrelson. This is a really fun movie. Next is Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. I really enjoy that. Uh, Iron Man 2. My friend broke the case, and I didn't have any spare cases, and he actually destroyed my movie. Uh, so I ended up getting that on Blu-ray. Red 2, another movie case that got destroyed from my friends. SpongeBob the movie, Sponge Out of the Water. Uh, this was actually, uh, my one of my friends I lived with stole the case from me and left me the Blu-ray, put it in my case here. And uh, kept the DVD in the case for himself. I actually have that uh, steelbook ordered, so pretty cool. Next is uh, one of my favorite films of 2000. Is The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. I really enjoy that. Uh, the new fun with Dick and Jane with Jim Carrey. I really enjoy that. School of Rock with Jack Black. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, it's one of my favorite Brad Pitt movies and Angelina Jolie movies. This is actually the movie they got together with and started talking and dating. Next we have The Fluffy Movie. One of my favorite movies of uh, 2006, The Pursuit of Happiness. My favorite film of 2005 with Will Smith is a uh, hitch another good movie from 2011 the dilemma with uh, Vince Vaughn and Kevin James uh, and then we got a Kanye West movie called run I believe it's a concert Hold on. Does this work? yeah and then 2007 movie it's about a guy that's um, survived 9-11. It's called Rain Over Me with Adam Sandler, and I can't remember his name. Uh, Rain Over Me. Really good movie. 
Kill Switch uh, with uh, Steven Seagal. This is about zombies. Uh, this is a badass movie. Uh, not not about zombies. He's a hitman. Oh, dude, dude. I'll have to. I will. Uh, I'll do a live stream while I'm watching this, and you all can check this out with me. Eagle Eye with Shia LaBeouf. I really enjoy that. Michael Clayton. Um, a lot of these, I uh, know it's illegal. Uh, my friend uh, I work with a long time ago at IAC here in Greencastle, Indiana, actually made these movies for me, and uh, I bought them from him. Uh, next is we they got The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Uh, not one of my favorites. Uh, I only enjoy the first two. Um, I haven't watched the Tom Cruise one at all. Uh, one of my favorite... Um, Nicolas Cage movies, Drive Angry, really enjoyed that. Tropic Thunder, a uh, great comedy uh, about Vietnam. It's pretty cool. A lot of people didn't like it. I enjoyed it. Next we have Inglorious Bastards, really enjoy that movie. Get out of here, Brownie. The Great Debaters, it's a really good movie. Now we have my Walking Dead seasons. Um, I have, I'll start from the back, I think. Oh, we have the 50 Cent, uh, the Massacre Special Edition DVD. It's his concert. I'm a huge 50 Cent fan. Next we have Brokeback Mountain with uh, Heath Ledger. A lot of people don't like this movie. I like this movie. Um, I'm not gay or anything, but... It's, it's a good story. Not a lot of many actors would uh, take this job and do it good. Uh, no one, a lot of people turned it down, but Heath Ledger stepped up and played a good job. This actually uh, helped him get the role of Dark Knight, to be honest. Uh, it was really good. Now my Walking Dead season. I got season one. Season 2, Season 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, and 7 was stolen from me. Alright, next up, uh, my TV series, uh, Justified, the complete uh, series. I really enjoy this, haven't started watching it yet again. Um, I actually might be selling this, uh, Breaking Bad, the complete series. I found it on Amazon with all of them in Steelbook, so I might be snagging that up, or I may just keep them both uh, Steelbook and Digibook. Um, I really enjoy this series. This is one of my favorite series of all time. Um, I watch this all the time. I love the story. I love everything about it. It's really good. Next, we have South Park, seasons one through five. Uh, I only grab this because it's South Park, and I like the originals. Uh, they kill Kenny more in this. Now they make it an accident. So, Next, uh, one of my other favorite Mike Judge's Be series, okay. uh, Beavis and Butthead, The Complete Collection. Um, it came with the two movies and all the episodes. Pretty cool. Not like that, it will be. Next, we got... Uh, the complete uncensored series, uh, the Boondocks. Really enjoy that. Then we have uh, Death Note, the complete series. Uh, Sons of Anarchy, season one. Read that one first. Sons of Anarchy, season two. Sons of Anarchy, season three. Sons of Anarchy Season 4, SOA Season 5, six, and uh, the final season is at my sister's. Next up, we have King of the Hill, the complete first season. I really love King of the Hill. Uh, King of the Hill, uh, complete se second season. And the complete third season. Now, next shelf. King of the Hill, the complete fourth season. 
there's two more seasons I'm missing. Uh, three more. Uh, five, six, and seven. Next up, we have my Games of Throne. I got the complete six season. I'm trying to find the others on Blu-ray. They're normally just on DVD. I uh, really enjoy the Game of Thrones. Uh, I love this lenticular slip uh, box on it. It's pretty cool. And then it came with an uh, exclusive bonus disc uh, of Game of Thrones, uh, the complete six season bonus disc. Next up, one of my favorite seasons is uh, Game of Thrones, the complete seventh season. I really enjoy this, co this casing. It's really cool. I really enjoy it a lot. And then here's the, uh, actually that's wrong. The front is right there. On the back it says winter is here. I really enjoy that. Pretty good packaging. And that came with a bonus disc as well. They all come with bonus discs, I'm pretty sure. This is Game of Thrones, Conquest, and Rebellion. An animated history of the Seven Kingdoms. I really enjoy that. Alright, getting into my regular movies. Uh, I got them in alphabetical order, so chronological order. We start with uh, 300. They have a really nice steel book I want to get, but it's very expensive. 300, Rise of the Empire. Two Guns. Really enjoy this. Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg put on a great performance in this movie. It's really fun. Uh, just awesome. There's, If you've seen it, there's not much I can say about it because if you've already seen it. Next up is uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. I have not yet watched this. Uh, I haven't even seen the first one. So I want to watch this and then grab the first one. Next up is the extended Blu-ray Collector's Edition 3-disc box set uh, of Avatar, James Cameron's Avatar. All new 3-hour hour, um, Collector's Edition, Collector's Extended Cut okay. with alternate opening. Okay. 8 hours of never-before-seen material, including over 45 minutes of deleted scenes and more. I really love this movie. Can't wait for the second one. There's uh, James Cameron. is said either this year, next year, or 2020. Not quite sure. May have to look that up and check it out. But I really enjoyed this movie. This movie is really long. Um, but it was totally worth it. When this first came out, my dad was a truck driver, and he stayed up till 10 o'clock watching this movie uh, because we didn't start watching it until about uh, 8.30. And uh, a really fun movie. Bite. Next up, we have a 4K movie, Atomic Blonde. I really love to have the steelbook to this. It has an 80s feel on the steelbook. Really enjoyed this movie. This movie reminds me of a James Bond, but with a woman. Um, and it was really good. Uh, it started off in the 80s. John Goodman gave a good performance. Uh, James McAvoy gave a good performance. It was really good. Next up, we have an old movie here from 1992 uh, with Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, and Demi Moore. It's the 25th anniversary of A Few Good Men. I really love this movie. This movie's really good. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I've seen it a lot of times, but uh, I'm actually looking for uh, more Tom Cruise movies. They have the Mission Impossibles. I don't have... I have Rogue Nation, I think. That's it. Um, but I really enjoy those. Next up is uh, Anchorman 1 and 2 Steelbook. Uh, this is a beautiful steelbook. On the front you have Will Ferrell, and on the back you have all four guys. Really fun. You flip it open, it comes with both movies. This is a gorgeous steelbook. I bought this at uh, Disc Replay for like 10 bucks. Now, this next collection, a lot of people are going to hate me. Because I have them in the order that they came out. And I really enjoyed the last movie. The only movie I don't have is Prometheus. And it comes goes with this movie. I want it on Steelbook. But it's like 70 bucks on Steelbook. 
So, screw that. I'll just get it on Blu-ray and I'll find it. Anyway, we have Alien Quadrology, Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. I enjoy all these movies. I love the Aliens. The first one is my favorite, and Aliens is my favorite. It's what you want. Okay? But I love them all. I really enjoy those. Next up, a lot of people don't have these in their collection. Uh, uh, I don't know if uh, Cool Duder does. I'm pretty sure he does. He basically has every movie that's ever made. I know, I think Chris Stuck, uh, Stuckman does. I, I don't know if uh, uh, Flicks and Movies does. I'm pretty sure he does. But this is the Alien vs. Predator unrated 2-pack. I really enjoy these. I'd love to see a third Alien vs. Predator. I'd love to see... Uh, I mean, they're making a new Predator movie. Um, but I really enjoy this. It comes in this gorgeous box set. First up, you have Alien vs. Predator. Well, Predator, sorry. Uh, the first one. Uh, and then you have a Digital Copy Special Edition Alien vs. Predator Requiem Extreme Unrated Set. I don't know what Extreme Unrated Set means, but I haven't watched these yet. I've watched them a lot growing up. I really enjoy these. Next up is a movie that everybody dogs on. Uh, you know where I'm going from, but I actually love the movie. I don't care what you say. Uh, it's my opinion. I really enjoyed Alien Covenant, okay? Uh, I it, they, I think uh, Randley Scott did a great job taking it back to its roots. Um, he did the best he could. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't, I've never seen Prometheus. I want to. I know it uh, goes with it. Uh, goes with these movies uh, in some way, but I really enjoyed Alien Covenant. So did my wife. It was it was good for what it was. Okay, I don't judge movies because I love movies. Movies you like, movies movies you hate are probably movies I like. So everybody has their own opinion about Alien Covenant. I enjoyed it. It was a great movie to sit down and watch. You had to pay attention. I enjoy movies like that. A lot, of people, a lot of my friends hate The Lord of the Rings because they're so long and they can't understand it. I love The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite trilogies of all time, besides Star Wars. Really enjoy that. Next up is my Marvel's The Avengers. I got that on Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, digital copy, plus music. In this gorgeous black case, I put, well, I put it on myself. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one a lot. Uh, not I enjoy the second one a lot more. I really enjoy this. This was given to me by my friend Lucas that collects movies too, just not as much as me. Uh, he's been snagging up some Steven Seagal movies uh, digitally. He's a digital collector and uh, somewhat of a physical collector. Um, but he's more of a physical because he'd rather just turn on his Xbox and... Uh, you mean digital, not physical? I said digital. No, I said Sorry. digital. Digital copies. Um, he likes to turn on his Xbox, go to his movies and TVs, and just find a movie. He doesn't want to go to a shelf, take forever to find a movie, because he's been here when I try to find a movie. It takes me forever to find a movie I actually want to watch. Next up is Ant-Man. I really enjoyed Ant-Man. Ant-Man was a fun movie. I really can't wait for Ant-Man versus Wasp or whatever. Uh, Paul Rudd was awesome. Um, a lot. Michael You're Douglas well. was good in this. I really enjoyed it. This movie was fun. It was awesome. I love to see Paul Rudd um, in this movie. Uh, he has he has paid his dues in the acting. Okay, he's played some shitty parts in some shitty movies, and he has paid his dues. It's about time for him to get some great stuff. Next up is a movie. I watched a video last night, and someone said they hated this movie. It really pissed me off. This movie is called American Sniper. I don't care what you say. No one can hate this movie. I love this movie. Clint Eastwood did a good job telling this story. Uh, great acting throughout. If you don't like this movie, you're not an American. That's how I feel. Um, and if you didn't know, Barack Obama tried to shut down production on this movie because this guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Kyles? When he died, when he came back and he was teaching people and he accidentally got shot, Barack Obama did not go to his funeral. He was on vacation. 
He tried telling Clint Eastwood he can't put this out. You tell Clint Eastwood to do something, he's going to raid down on your fucking parade. I'm sorry. This is a great movie of 2014. This movie was awesome. It told the story very well. I don't care what you say. Clint Eastwood is not Hollywood confined. He will tell the story right. He will do it right. I don't understand why someone can hate this movie. A great American movie. Do you hate Hacksaw Ridge? Hacksaw Ridge was based on true story. It actually happened. But yet you hate this movie. This was a great movie of 2014. I can sit here and dog you all the time. I'm not naming any names. I really enjoyed this movie. Next up is a movie I bought when I was I just left high school, and that is Act of Valor. I really enjoyed this movie. The, uh, the, oh my god. The motion picture featuring active duty Navy SEALs was really fun. This was awesome. The first time we've ever seen this. Um, it was really fun for the, for me. Um, mainly because I wanted to be a Navy SEAL. I went to the boot camp, and, uh, I couldn't do it. Um, I have really bad knees. And they wouldn't let me do it. Um, I couldn't keep up. Uh, I, back then, I was a lot skinnier than what I was now. RJ, um, no. That, but my knees wouldn't let me do it. Uh, too much football, basketball, uh, wrestling uh, has messed up my knees. So I really couldn't physically do it. But I really enjoyed this because this is what I wanted to do. And uh, it was very fun. And I apologize on American Sniper if I got a little ex too, offensive. too offensive. But... So for someone to say that they didn't like American Sniper, it's like spit, it, you're spitting in the face of a veteran that put his life on the line during these and then died when he came back no. by an accident. Okay? Accidents happen. Stop. I am very sorry if I offended you. Next up is a, a movie I dreaded buying. I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, that's Assassin's Creed. I really enjoyed it for what it is. I yes. thought it followed the game pretty well-ish. Um, just like any movie that follows the game, there's going to be some people out there that don't like it. Um, my opinion, I didn't follow it enough. Um, it was good. I had a great story. Uh, I just thought it could have been a lot better. What are you doing to me? Next up is a movie I really enjoyed with uh, Amy Adams, Jamie, J uh, Jeremy Reiner, Renner. And uh, Forrest Whitaker. I'm a huge Forrest Whitaker fan. Um, that is Arrival, a confusing movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm probably going to watch this again. I can't really say much about it because when I watched this, I was drunk. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. Uh, next up is Liam Neeson, a walk, in the, a walk Among the Tombstones. I really enjoyed this movie. I love all Liam Neeson movies. I have all his movies uh, so far. That I can remember that I have. Um, I got some boxed up and put away. Um, so. There are movies I don't watch. But this was a really good movie. It was Liam Neeson at his best. Next up is. Uh, a movie I. Was very anticipated about getting. In 2016. And that is. The Untold Story of Tupac Shakira. All Eyes on Me. I just want to say something. Tupac is not dead. Yeah, I can. You can argue with me all day. Tupac is not dead. Um, they actually had the guy, the cop, that put him in hiding, said on his deathbed a couple years ago that Tupac is alive and he's well. Um, he actually has new music coming out with Eminem. Um, so you tell me and explain how someone could be alive and still be putting out music. Now, I love this movie. This movie was awesome. Um, no, I really enjoyed it. Okay. Next up is uh, A Haunted House with Mark uh, Marlon Wayans, Nick Swartzen, David Kuchner, uh, Cedric the Entertainer, and Essence Atkins. I really enjoyed this. The first one was awesome. Yeah. second one was kind of iffy. I liked the second one because I had Gabriel Iglesias in it. I really can't wait okay. for his third one. Next up is a... Uh, hey, down. From the guy that brought you Ted. That's Seth MacFarlane's A Million Ways to Die in the West, unrated. I really enjoyed this movie. It was pretty cool to see Liam Neeson uh, do a movie with Seth MacFarlane. Especially a movie I would never expect Liam Neeson doing. But I really enjoyed it. Uh, Castle Thorn was pretty cool in it. 
Next up is one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Uh, that is A Christmas Story. Every Christmas, this movie has to be on. If not, it's not tradition to me. Um, growing up in a family of six. I uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, growing up in a family of six, I would always take over the TV and put this movie on. Every Christmas. I do it with my wife and my son, too. Stop it, RJ. Uh, now we're getting into my B section. I don't have very many Bs, but with what I got, I'm pretty sure they're pretty good. First up is one of my favorite Vince Vaughn movies of all time. On 4K is Brawl and Cell Block 99. This was a badass movie from start to finish. Vince Vaughn put on one of the best performances of his career. Highly respected performance. Really enjoyed this movie. He was a badass in this movie. When he punched out that, he destroyed that fucking eclipse. That was badass. Daddy. Next up is Harrison Ford, Blade Runner, The Final Cut. I picked this up because I picked up Blade Runner 2049. I might as well go ahead and show you that. I got the collector's edition with it. and came with the limited edition exclusive steel model kit of the car. I have yet to watch either of these. Next up, we're getting into one of my favorite uh, superheroes. This is the 1966 film. What the fuck are you doing, boy? Trying to get to you. RJ? The 1966 film Batman the Movie with Adam West and Burt Ward. Uh, Burt Ward. Uh, not open this. It's, this movie's on Netflix. So, that's where I watch it. RJ. Next up is the Diamond Lux edition of the Batman 1989. I have yet to open this. I'm not going to open it. It's a little opened right here, but that's how I bought it. Still has the sale package on it and everything. Uh, I have not opened this for one reason. Leave it alone. I have this collection right Whatever. here with Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Now, I I talked to one of my friends uh, that likes the same movies I do. We got in an argument. Uh, let me let you guys know. Uh, who's your favorite Batman? And who's the worst Batman? My favorite Batman list goes Michael Keaton, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, George Clooney, and Val Kilmer. In that list. One reason. Michael Keaton started the trilogy. Started this Batman shit. With uh, Tim Burton. Uh, two Tim Burton films. Tim Burton helped get this Dark Knight going. So, uh, I say George Clooney is my fourth because, uh, let's see. Michael Keaton, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, George Clooney, Val Kilmer. Five different Batmans. George Clooney gave a better performance than Val Kilmer. I really hate Val Kilmer. I don't like any of his movies. I love all George Clooney movies. Uh... Ben Affleck, I enjoy every single one of his movies. Have you not seen Argo? That movie was awesome. Christian Bale is an awesome actor. He's done some great things. And Michael Keaton, just a legend. A movie uh, I did not like but I enjoyed uh, was Batman uh, vs. Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition. I uh, really enjoyed this movie. It's not good. I'm not saying I. it's one of my favorites. It's not. It had its flaws. I'm upset with it as much as everybody else. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, they gave you something action-packed and uh, ish. But I just feel like they're wrapping these movies around Wonder Woman too much. I'm not sexist. I'm not sexist. Okay? And I know in the comic books, to me, it seemed like Batman and Superman... Got the team together. Not Batman and Wonder Woman. I feel like they flipped it. That's just me. I'm not sexist, okay? I'm not sexist. I'm not saying that. I just didn't enjoy the movie as much as I did Justice League. Next up is part of my DC Universe original movie collection. First up is uh, Batman and Harley Quinn. This is one of the PG-13 ones. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. It was awesome. But I didn't enjoy it as much as I did... Batman, Gotham by Gaslight. This is one of the rated R movies. I want them to keep doing these rated R movies. Um, I really enjoy it. 
I really enjoyed this one. Uh, this is about Batman becoming, basically, uh, investigating the deaths of um, Jack the Ripper and his killing. And turns out one of his friends, James Gordon, what is Jack doing? the Ripper. And he ends up, I believe, killing James Gordon, if I remember. Thank this was you. a really fun movie. Thank if you, you haven't seen this, check it out. It was really fun. Next up is two of my favorite Michael Bay movies besides the Transformers and the new Ninja Turtles, which we'll talk to that when we get into it tomorrow uh, or the next day. I'm going to break these up in three part movie, uh, three part collection. Uh, I mean, three part videos because it would be easier for me. There's a lot of movies in here. Anyway, this is Martin Lawrence and Will Smith in the 20th anniversary collection. Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. I love them both. I really enjoyed them. All all action-packed. That's what Michael Bay is about. Um, really can't wait for the third one. It's in the ma making, oh God, and it's not called Bad Boys. It, it's uh, I, I think he's going to call it Bad Boys 3, but I heard uh, rumored by Michael Bay that um, he's going to call it uh, Ride Together, Die Together, Bad Boys for Life. That's a long title. Bad Boys 3 would be just simple. Uh, but I really enjoy these. Next up is a trilogy that has been through hell. I loan it out a lot. I'm gonna, probably going to purchase a new one uh, with the flux capacitor. It's a 25th anniversary trilogy of Back to the Future. Um, I really can't wait this year. Back to the Future 4, guys. It's it's coming. Uh, Michael J. Fox is doing a great job trying to get his voice, his talking back. They're working I'm with working. him a lot. I really can't wait. It will be no longer a trilogy, guys. It will be... Uh, what do they call a fucking a four film collection? So I'm really excited for that. But uh, I love the first one. I love them all. Uh, some of my favorite movies are right here, guys. Uh, the very futuristic uh, sci-fi movies. I really enjoy them, and it is an ultimate movie experience. If you have not seen Back to the Future, I believe you're. What have you missed? A lot. This is. These are great movies of the 80s, and I love the 80s, uh, my dad always tells me with the music I like and the um, movies I enjoy, I was born in the wrong era, next up is one of my favorite movies of 2014, and that is Birdman, with Michael Keaton, Zach Kalvinakis, Edward Norton, uh, Andera Rosaber, Roe, whatever, Amy Ryan, Emma Stone, and Naomi Watts. I really enjoyed this movie. From what I took from it, Michael Keaton has had a great career with Beetlejuice, Batman. I may be wrong, but I feel like he wants to be Batman again uh, from seeing this. Um, little bits and pieces right, reminded me of what he went through after he, couldn't, he didn't want to do Batman anymore. But he still helps out with the movies um, as much as he can. They actually, he, is, he actually came up and helped Ben Affleck with the voice of Batman. And the one that had the tr most pure voice for it is Michael Keaton. I really wish he would be Batman again. That would be awesome. Next up is, uh, I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan. Uh, and this is Birth of the Dragon. I have yet to watch this. This is a really hard movie to follow. Um, it's hard to watch with a uh, nine-month-old baby. Next up is another good movie from 2014, 2013 to 2014. That's Brick Mansion. This was actually the last movie Working. Paul Walker was in. Stop. You could say Fast 7. No, you can't. Fast 7, all his stuff was done, except for two scenes, okay? This was completely done and came out literally three weeks after he died. This is the final movie. Um... I am not arguing with anybody. Um, I enjoy all Paul Walker movies. I own every single Paul Walker movie that I can find. I'm missing like four or five. But Brick Mansions was the final one. Fast 7 was a year later. Okay? I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, this was the final movie he actually was physically in. Um, now, going to Fast 7... He was physically in all the way up to the final scenes. 
uh, which is the beach and the drive off. That's the only two parts that they had to finish without Paul. Next up is the remake to Blair Witch uh, from 2016. I did not, I enjoyed it a little bit. I like the original better. Next up is uh, Black Mass, a really good movie. Um, next up is Ben-Hur, the remake. Um, I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one. The first one's better. Now we're getting into Disney, Cars. Cars 2. Cars 3. I like Cars 1 and 3 better than 1 and uh, then two. Next up is uh, Captain Underpants. What, uh, epic, the first epic Here's movie, uh, Hero Edition. Got that for my son for Christmas. Next up is the Collector's Edition of Casino Royale. I love Mommy, that Daddy. cover. Next up is a movie I haven't watched ever, and that's uh, Criminal. Kevin Costner, Gary Oldman, Amelie Lee Jones, Alice Ava. Gal Golick, and Ryan Reynolds has a part in this, too. I would like to know where you put your pink little thing. Now we're into the C's. Next up is Unrated, Sensual Intelligence. Really enjoyed that movie. Uh, you put your pink Creed. Love this movie. Clash of the Titans. And that awesome uh, slip cover. <laughs> Everything is popped out. And next up is Clash of the Titans, Steelbook. Really enjoy this Steelbook. It's beautiful. Awesome. Next up is Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Now we're into the Ds. Next, first up is uh, Deadpool. One of my favorite movies of 2016. Can't wait for the second one. Next up is uh, Deepwater Horizon. Really enjoyed this. This movie was awesome. About the BP spill. And uh, only like 11 people died, I believe, on this. Yes. 11 people died. That's it. Um, Mark Wahlberg's character saved most of them. Um, it, it was a really good film. If you haven't seen this, you need to check it out. Um, it's from the directors of The Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor was really good, too. Where did you put your... Next up is... Uh, Daddy's Home with Will Ferrell and uh, Mark Wahlberg. Really enjoyed this. This was funny as hell. Next is yeah, uh, Daddy's yeah. Home 2. I uh, really enjoyed this. Uh, great cast with Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, John Letglow, Mel Gibson. John Letglow did the voice of uh, Lord Farquaad and uh, Shrek. And Mel Gibson made that awesome movie, Axel Ridge and Mad Max. You know everything with that. Mel Gibson. Next up is The Diary of the Wimpy Kid, one, two, three. I'm missing the fourth one, but I have the fifth one. Uh, it sucked. Uh, Diary of the Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul, did not enjoy this. Uh, I liked one through four better. It's a lot better. My wife even agreed with me. Next up is a film by Christopher Nolan. I enjoy all his films, and that's Dunkirk. I really enjoyed Dunkirk. You have to pay attention to it. you got to understand it. My uh, brother-in-law didn't like it. Supposedly, he don't like war movies because of his PTSD. Well, I don't know if you've seen action, but I if even if I had PTSD, I wouldn't miss out on a great film. You know, he said it sucked. So I actually like I love Dunkirk. Dunkirk was awesome. He just don't know movies. Next up is a uh, video game movie based off of a video game. Um, is Doom. Doom, I loved this movie when I was a kid. This kid, movie came out in 2005 with Dwayne Johnson. Well, at the time, The Rock and Carl Urban. Unrated, no one gets out alive. This movie is awesome. I'm probably going to watch this tonight. And I want to show you guys something real quick. Um, I talk about this movie a lot, but I've never showed you something. I have an Xbox One, and I bought the remake of Doom. This is the Steelbook. Came with the Collector's Edition. Really enjoy this Steelbook. It's awesome for my video games. In there. And then, what I'm about to show you, I'll show you in another video. 
I have the the collector's edition to it. So in the next video, I'll sh I'll have everything cleared and I can show you the huge collection I have of it. But I really enjoyed this film. This film was awesome. I really loved it. Uh, I think one of the only films to follow a uh, video game pretty well, uh, besides the new Tomb Raider. I uh, really enjoyed Chris Duckman's uh, reviews of that. Uh, pretty cool. I really can't wait to check out Tomb Raider, but I really enjoyed Dune. Next up is uh, Jamie Foxx, Christopher Waltz, Leonardo DiCaprio, Henry Washington, yeah. and Sam L. Jackson. Uh, written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. I'm a huge fan by Quentin Tarantino. And that is Django Unchained. Love this movie. This movie was awesome. Really enjoyed it. Everyone put on a star-studded cast. Uh, I mean, Sam L. Jackson even had a great role. Leonardo DiCaprio. Jamie Foxx was awesome in this. I like Jamie Foxx. He's pretty cool. I remember watching him on the Jamie Foxx show. Next up is a movie that a lot of people uh, enjoy but don't like, but I love this movie. And that's uh, Dracula Untold. Uh, I got this beautiful steelbook with it for it. Um, I really enjoy this skill book. I really enjoyed the movie. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite movies of, of um, 2015, but it Don't was really touch. good. It was really good for what it was. I really enjoyed it. You're going to get hurt. Next up, I accidentally let this out oh. in my horror collection, but you guys are going to see it here, uh, is Don't Breathe. Uh, my wife got the, I got this for my wife for Christmas. Um, Love it. And she loves it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like it. Uh, it's too much. Kind of reminds me of it's trying to be Evil Dead at the same time. Uh, Cabin in the Woods. Um, and uh, in my opinion, uh, Anthony Bill horror. Everything takes place in the house. But for what it is, it, it was the best twist in years. I really enjoyed it, though, for what it was. This is the only movie I have of it. I'm trying to get the rest. And that's Despicable Me 3 on Blu-ray Special Edition. Uh, all of them said Special Edition this year. It was weird, but I really enjoyed it. I read it in his movie. Next up is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I uh, really enjoyed this. Uh, it was a really fun movie. I own all of the Planet of the Apes movies, except for the 2003 with Mark Wahlberg. That's one of my favorites. Next up is, uh, oh shit, this thing's been through hell. The Divergent series. Uh, I think this is the only one I own on Blu-ray. Next up is Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry in this beautiful digibook. Beautiful digibook. Next up is Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And it's awesome deluxe edition by Ron Howe. It's a Rod Howard film. I want to open this up and show you guys about this last year. Yes, this is the cover, the case holder for this movie. I really enjoy it. This is fun. And this is actually made by the stuff that Jim Carrey wore. I really love this. This is my second favorite holiday film of all time. It keeps it nice, protected, and it's so soft. I don't even let my son hold it. I really enjoy this. Mm, it's nice and soft. And it's pretty cool packaging. Are you watching Boss Baby, buddy? My son really enjoys Boss Baby, so... I'll turn that up for him. Give me a second, guys. I know this film uh, video is kind of long. Uh, so, I'm really sorry about that. I'm almost done. I'll just speed right through these. Next up is my favorite Johnny Depp film of 1990. Edward Scissorhands, one of my favorite films to watch during uh, the... Winters, Everest, Elysium, Elf, one of my third favorites uh, holiday movies of all time, extremely loud, incredible noisy, and incredible close, has uh, Tom Hanks, Sandra Bullock, Thomas Horn, Max von Schando, Lala Davis, John Goodman, uh, Jerry, Jerry Wright, and Zoe Caldwell. 
Best Picture and Academy Award nominee of 2011. Really enjoyed that movie. Next up is Entourage, the movie. Epic. Escape from Planet Earth. Uh, Fast and the Furious 7 movie collection on Blu-ray. I like this co casing better. It, it's like the original. It shows off the original stuff. The Fate of the Furious. Uh, this was my favorite film of last year. My top of the list favorite film. I love all the Fast and the Furious movies. And my wife got me this, uh, the original movie on Steelbook, limited edition, for Christmas. It was really cool. Next up is uh, Fast 6 uh, Steelbook. Really enjoyed this Steelbook. Uh, all the proceeds from this, if you purchase this Steelbook, at any location where you buy Steelbooks. At the time, I bought this at Walmart, uh, the one my mom and dad has. It's the same one as this. Uh, all the proceeds went to the Paul Walker Foundation. And then next we have Fury, Brad Pitt. I have not yet to watch this, but my uncle said it's pretty good. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Really enjoyed that. Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump. You gotta have Forrest Gump in your collection. One of the best movies. Uh, the new Fantastic Four sucked. So don't waste your money on it. Fifty Shades of Grey. This is the only one I have because it's the only one I like. Fifty Shades uh, Darker sucked. And I don't even want to see Fifty Shades Feared. Freed. Next up is Ghostbusters 1 and 2 Digibook. Oh. 1 and 2 Digibook of Ghostbusters. And then this is the, I believe, yeah, the 2016 Ghostbusters with the, all the women cast. We got the Steelbook. It's a beautiful, gorgeous Steelbook. I really enjoyed this one. A lot of people hated it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, for what it was. Bill Murray had a part in it for a little bit. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. The only thing I didn't like, no Twinkie Joe. <laughs> Are you watching a movie? Next up is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. First one, Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray digital copy. Really enjoyed that one. Really fun. Uh, but the one my son really likes is uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. He really enjoys Baby Groot. Let me see. Grab, grab that thing. And we also, when we got... Uh, a while ago, we got some... I got... I sold some... I don't know, remember. Oh, I got my... Uh, my state check, and we bought him this. He loves Groot so much, we bought him a dancing Groot. Really, oh, this thing's annoying sometimes. <laughs> but he really loves Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. We're almost to the closing end of this video. Uh, I don't even know if YouTube, I don't know how to do uh, I don't know how to uh, put uh, advertisements. I don't like advertisements, so I know they probably add them themselves, but next up we have, we're in G's, uh, Grown Ups, one of my favorite comedies of all time, uh, besides all the films with Chris Farley. I'm a huge Chris Farley fan. Um, Chris Farley was actually supposed to do the original voice of Shrek, um, and he already had a contract wrote and everything before he died, and then he died, and then they gave the part to Mike Myers.
Next up is Grown Ups 2. I really enjoyed this one, not as much as the first one. Next up is, uh, a lot of people say a shitty Godzilla 2014. I, I, I liked it. I know everybody hates that Godzilla only had like a, a two second part, but you got to understand, they were explaining, uh, this was like the beginning of Godzilla and the first Godzilla ever made, Godzilla only had a two second part. He wasn't in it the whole time. But um, they're making it up for it. Um, if you've seen Kong Skull Island, um, they're making a new Godzilla this year uh, to follow this up. So this was the start of everything. This is the Monsters Universe that we've all been wanting. Now, my favorite Godzilla is Godzilla 2000 with Matthew Broderick. Hold on a minute. I was a young kid watching that. I fell in love with that movie. It was the first movie experience I had uh, a physical movie like that. When I was a young kid in 99. So, I really love that. I like this, too. Next up is one of my favorite George Clooney films and Sandra Bullock films. And that's Gravity. Uh, all One Location. I uh, really enjoyed it. I believe it's All One Location. I, I think it all happened in space or whatever. But I think it was all one location at some point of the movie. Um, but I really enjoyed this. This was awesome. Next up is the Ghost in the Shell, uh, Scarlett Johansson. I really enjoyed this movie. I haven't really watched it yet. I've seen bits and parts before I fell asleep. Uh, this came out last year. I heard good things. Um, it follows the video game, supposedly. But we'll see how it goes. Next up is one of my favorite movies of uh, 2016. Gods of Egypt. Uh, Gerard Butler put on a great performance in this. I really enjoyed that. Look at that beautiful slip cover. It's really beautiful. The Gods of Egypt is embossed. I really enjoyed that. that is a beautiful slip. The the uh, steel book to this is even more beautiful, guys. Next up is uh, Screen Factory. Uh, start of my H's. We have two movies left, and I'm going to end the video. Uh, next up is Screen Factory, Halloween, the complete 10 disc set collection. I enjoy all of these movies. I love these movies. This is an awesome set. I'm really happy to have this in my collection. I really enjoy it. Next up is Harry Potter, Gears 1 through 5, Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of Phoenix, Blu-ray set. I enjoy all the Harry Potters. I was a young kid when these first came out. It was really fun. Only thing I don't like is they're these small cases in this collection set. Um, that really irritated me at first, but it don't bother me as much anymore. Um, this is the start of my full collection update for uh, 2018. Sorry, the video was kind of long, uh, really long to be honest, and uh, really enjoyed that. Thank you for seeing what I picked up today. Thank you for spending time with me about my movie collection. We're getting into it pretty deep now. Um, I'm even going to throw in my DVDs in this update video. Um, I don't put them together. I only things I put with my Blu-ray collection is my favorite uh, TV shows. Uh, I got some over there on the DVD shelf, but these are my ultimate favorites, the ones I go to when I'm feeling down and I want to watch something to bring me up. Uh, uh, eventually, I promise I'll get more of the Game of Thrones in this shelf. When, when I get my the rest of my money... I'm buying a brand new movie shelf. Probably going to go over in this corner. Over there uh, by Interstellar. Uh, you can't see it. Or right there where the Call of Duty poster Black Ops 2 is. I don't know yet. But thank you guys for checking this out. You've been with me for 59 minutes. Really appreciate if you check out this video. Um, uh, it's either tomorrow I'm going to do part 2 of my uh, Blu-ray collection. Um, that shelf right here. And then the following day, I'll do part three all the way down. And then part four will be my DVDs. 
thank you guys for checking this out. Really appreciate it. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any questions about any movies in this in my this first part part of my video uh, for my collection update, just let me know. I'll comment back, and we'll really enjoy it. I love talking about movies. So have a great day, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.